We are Anthony and me. We are converting our sitting room really into an off-grid camper van. You should join us on our journey and watch as we work on it over the next few months. We have absolutely no experience so if we can convert a van, you can do it too. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you alright? Nice to be back on video again and actually making some progress with the van. So, um, I can't really remember what footage we've got on YouTube and stuff like that on Instagram. And on our Instagram, we posted that we're taking all our cladding down. And um, we've realised that we should have carpeted places first, which is probably seen clips in this video. But I'll muddled up at the minute. But let's start fresh from now. So we've carpeted the the shapes of the van. We've put a piece of wood at the back again. But if you remember from last time, if that was on a video. We had this piece below and it just we were going to box it in but why it's so much easier to carpet so we've done the carpet and this piece of wood's on top and we're screwing into it like it's another button um i really like this it's it's a mixture of light oak and medium oak because when we let the light oak dry we didn't really like the way it started to look it was like a luminous wasn't it mm -hmm. um so we've done a medium oak on top but that's going to be the struggle so if we run out of pieces of cladding now today or tomorrow then we're going to have to paint it with light oak let it dry and then medium oak but i'm really happy with this progress we've got smaller screws um so they're less visible uh obviously without paint and white we're not hiding them so they are on show and we're glad that they're like a brownie goldy color screw and these are just skinny ones um I think it's 3mm by 20mm from Wix and good news for us is the Wix just opened brand new up the road from us so that's going to be so much better um yeah I'm glad to be making progress again are you yeah happy yeah uh we've got to wait for like a few days up Loch Lomond up Scotland we'll put our bed in because that's made um we've got our port potty and stuff we just went up there for a few days swimming in the lake and stuff lovely weather uh, Amy's surgery got cancelled so when that got cancelled us were like it's been such a build up for six months obviously hence the reason why we haven't worked on the van so much worry for like six months and it finally came to the last few days just before the surgery and they cancelled two days before with everything that's going on staff shortages and stuff which fair enough but it's just been a mental battle hasn't it for us both definitely like but yeah, I'm not going to dwell on that anyways. But yeah, we're making progress. Get this roof done. I've just cut the pieces for the back. Just 25 centimetres. And these are just going to sit in here like this. Like that. Just come up to where the, the casing of the fan will go in. And it, like we're filing down bits at the bottom so there's not much of a gap between the carpet. Uh, yeah, but instead of ambling on, that's... That's where we are now and I feel good that I'm going to be making the video and updating everybody and actually making some progress because we've stopped and started and I think that depends on our emotions, doesn't it? Definitely. So when we've had a different bit of news about surgery or anything like that, it's like, I don't know, this is definitely not a priority compared to Amy's health. But yeah, keeping it positive. What are you doing? <laughs> you alright? We've finally done the air uh, sailing complete until the arches and well the curved side bits need to go on but i'm really happy with the way it is today uh we staggered the joints so we took someone else's advice who commented on was it the previous video yeah mentioning that you should stagger it and we're not experts as you know our channel's like everything's new to us literally even using any chop saw and stuff any tools is new to us as well isn't it but yeah i'm really happy with the way it looks that's the way the fan would look and I think it suits it really nice with the colour cladding that we've went for. I'm really happy. Um, I'm, I think I'm just really happy because we're actually doing stuff on the van. Because it's just sat here for like six months. But yeah, I, I was doing that anyway. <laughs> and because the, our drill is massive and we can't get it in, we have to do this for the end bit. Since we learned by mistakes with the LEDs, testing them one by one, and when they were all connected together, they were broken, they didn't work. 
Um, something that's been bugging us is the solar panels. They worked one by one individually and we haven't tested them together yet. I did put them into the isolator, which you've seen in the last video, but I haven't actually tested them with a the multimeter. And I can't actually remember which way you use a multimeter. I've lost the instructions, but as long as some numbers show, that means that power's coming in. So that one's a positive, that one's a negative. Oh yeah, numbers are coming in. <laughs> I don't understand them. But come and show on there, Amy. So 58.7 volts, if that's volts. Um, yeah, so I'm happy with that. So I've just popped back into the van. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is cutting out the recesses and making them deeper than they were previously. So what I'll be doing is I'll be taking off our reflectix all the way along. I'll try and preserve it and keep it instead of buying another roll. Uh, do a big rectangle. And then we've got 50 mil king span, I believe, behind. It's that long ago since we did it. I'm sure it's 50 mil on the walls. We're going to change that to 25 mil. Um, and see how deep it goes. Where the beams are, is like 100 mil off the wall. So no other wonder, when I was trying to sleep comfortably, I couldn't fit, because from the wall to a beam, no, so it's like 95 mil. So we're taking up 95 mil each side. So when we're recessing this in, we're going to come all the way back to where the 25 mil is, and we're saving 70 mil each side. I've just made sure that they fit, and I'm going to keep them off until I've cut out the other side because I can use this as a template for there, and that as a template for the other side as well. Maybe he's now just putting the reflectix and foil tape back over the recessed bits. And this is what it looks like on that side. As you can see, it goes a bit deeper. But if you remember from our previous videos, the wires here are on top of the little beam. What's there? Um, but still, we're going to gain some space each side, so it's better than what we would have had before. And if you look, this comes back quite, quite a bit more. If you look at the actual frame, comes back quite much deeper than fitting wood onto here for the wall. So if this comes in as a recess, we're gaining some space outside. That's the main thing, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so we're gonna finish this off and then we're gonna look at building the recessed frames. Another way you can tell how much space we've gained is if you remember last time this was flat. So from here, it was flat down. Whereas if you look, we're gaining some because it goes back, which I'm happy about. Oh, this just means I'll be able to sleep more comfortably. <laughs> so while Amy's is just foil taping and vapor burying the recessed insulation parts, I've just been cutting out the actual frame what's going to be fitting into the walls. So we've got, we're not doing the whole width of it. So I've got a uh, PSA wood. So it looks a bit better when it's painted compared to like other wood. Because before we did use this wood for a recess, and you can see it's like flaky, it's, it's like bitty and stuff. <laughs> it's like I said, bitty. Rough. Yeah, it's a bit rough, that's the word for it actually. Um, and when we pocket jig it together, this is what it looked like, but I'm going to do it on the external pieces so you'll not see. So from the inside of the recess, you'll just see a smooth rectangle all the way around and we've just got six mil ply and I've cut them out to be perfectly 108 by 63 centimeters so it's going 108 centimeters along and 63 up because if you look here there's like that's the metal of the van I mean in hindsight we should have had thicker wood here but never mind um so we're going to start the recess from about here well, it's not going to interfere with the metal of the van. So yeah, we'll just crack on with this and we'll show you in a sec. So 
So we've just come to dry fit the frame and we've realised that our measurements have been wrong. Um, I don't know how, but we're just going to have to take off some of the side bits to make it smaller, to bring it lower down because that's hitting the metal of the van and not going as a recess. And also the ply that I cut out doesn't fit on the back of here because this framing's too big. So we need to make the side smaller, the ply will then fit on and then it'll fit in the recess. So we'll go and do that now. So I've trimmed both of the side buttons and now it fits perfectly on the ply. I do need to cut out this extra strip all the way along. But as you can see, that's what our recess is going to be like. Quite happy with the result. And like I said before, the pocket jigs are on the outside. So what you're going to see in the living area with this, is you're not going to be able to see them, which is better. So we'll take that top it off. We'll fit the ply to these buttons. And then we'll see what it looks like going into the recess. Just screwing on the back of the recess. Yeah, so everything's flush. Um, we've got the frame built together, and then this is the back, which you won't see. So the screw in the way, you won't see any screws or anything. I'll show you in a second what it will be, what we'll see from inside the van. off cutting it a bit wonky at the end because of angles and stuff but yeah that's the recess obviously all that will be painted it's a nice finish there's no signs of any screws or pocket jig or anything like that or any holes what need filling and then all this will get sanded and painted when we're ready to in future once the walls is on um i don't know if i could do with another one there now I'm just looking and there's little there's a little gap here. So I think we could do with another screw in there. See the gap, so if I put a screw in that'll nip that gap up. Mm -hmm. So I'll quickly do that now and then we'll go inside and have a look how it will look in the van. Right, so we've now decided what we're going to do. We're going to have little off cuts of wood and we're going to put a jig down into this and up into this three times and we're going to screw into the bottom and as we said it's going to be painted which i forgot about um so we can either use wood filler or just paint to hide the screws um when we're pocket jigging these bits i feel like what i'd rather do is put a jig into there which is fine and then from underneath screw up into it right i've just run back out to get a pencil but just before i mark on stuff i'm going to let you know what we're doing we were going to put something on the front but as you can see it's quite a like flush fit in line with the button so something going across the front will prevent the wall from being straight in future so instead i'm going to screw up into the bottom of this and i'm going to pocket jig and put that into the top button we're going to do that three times and if we really want to we could do one here as well because we are painting we can cover the screw holes and it'll look better and it's obviously going to screw all the way along the bottom so yeah i'm liking the way this is going to be just going to mark now and put a jig each little cut off piece of wood so that's this recess now fixed in we've got three of these and it's quite solid so we're really happy with that when the ply wall comes on this is just six mil but we're just testing so this is how it's going to look we'll do like a jigsaw puzzle around um but also when we're fitting the ply to the buttons and to the actual recess frame that's also strengthening it so like the way that looks to be honest mm -hmm. this is where we're going to leave today's video so thank you all for watching Please hit the like button to support our channel and if you would like to see future videos please hit subscribe and the notification bell.